day trip today, so do have a fantastic time. I'm a ten 
I'm Tesco bloody delivery truck. Don't come crying. Come in. <laughs>
well, yes, now Mrs. Kim. Sarah! I want to show you this one. What, Carly? Sarah. Do you want a jacket? Carly, jacket, they're very nice, but the thing is that. Carly, Croxley, Jacqueline, Morgan, will you please give Mr. McDevitt a moment's peace? I'm not done, not done, not done. Leave a I know you haven't sweethearts, but what you've got to remember is Mr. McDevitt is like a, a precious butterfly. <laughs> Beautiful, delicate, but so easily crushed. Miss, shut up, Miss. And he's not even had his breakfast yet, have you? Uh, thanks. There's some fruit in there, and oh, come on, I'll show you. Gotta put these away. Katie, do you mind checking who's not yet? Yep, got it. Okay. Okay, get it in everybody. Oh, yeah. 
He's ass, he's hands on loose now that he's not living with his dad. Do I miss him a chance? Have we got room? Yes, miss! But it's not up to me, you'd have to get permission from your form teacher. Rich, he will not let us come. Well, that's not my fault, Ryan. Mrs. Kate, what on earth is in this coffee? Oh my God, I almost forgot. Half a bottle of Johnny Walker. I <laughs> <laughs> was warm if the weather got cold. Well, it certainly warmed me up. Oh, it's dead, 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 Come on, I think the coach is here now. You can get on now, kids. Come on. Quiet! Right. Just stop there. No one move. Oh, oh, Miss Emily, you get on. Oh, did she now? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something about Miss. She is not the driver of this bus. I am. And if I say you don't get on, you don't get on. Your teachers might tell you what to do in the playground or even in the classrooms. But this bus is my domain. You got that? I said this is my bus. Whose bus? Yours. I said whose bus? Yours. Whose bus? Yours. That's right, and I decide who gets to ride. Like these and the kids who are raised in them. Detest them. I don't detest 
anybody. I was raised in streets like these. Oh, you were? Well, it must have been pretty hard for you, Bob. Ah, don't get me started. You have not in us. And that's why I can understand it, Bob. Why it was such an ordeal for you. That a little girl wandering the streets alone. <laughs> Look, Bob, there she is. That thin, hungry strip of a little girl gazing outside the sweet shop at the cough candy, the mint balls, the sherbet lemons, and the Toblerone bars. The all the sweets that the kids from the vet schools regularly get to eat. But poor little Bob can only imagine the taste. How did you know that? I'm sorry to have to say this, everybody, but. Bob over here has deemed us to be completely unsuitable to ride their coach. Hey, hold on. What are you saying? Ian, you son, you. <coughs> hey. Take this. If you go to that sweet shop over there, it's you tell that man you want the best sweets the boys can buy. That, a splash of Charles Dickens, a touch of old nostalgia, and a lie like hell, of course. <laughs> all right, what you all do? Wait there on the coach, everybody on the coach. <laughs> some help, so that's why I'm here. Carleen Crossley, and just, what sort of an outfit do you call that? What? You know we're going on a school trip, you must wear a uniform. Oh, have you? <laughs> Ties are meant to be worn around the neck. Well, you are not talking to Mrs. K now. <laughs> I'm getting sick of your attitudes. What have I said? Not said not I'm getting sick of this attitude! And if it carries on, the only place you will be going today is back to school. Is that understood? Good. It better had be. Right! There's been a change of plan. What? Oh, Mr. Briggs, would you care to explain? Uh, Mrs. K, if you would have given me a moment. That is precisely what I am about to do. Unfortunately, we will not be able to go to Orton Towers today. <laughs> Listen! We will not be able to go to Orton Towers. They rang the school and said, due to a severe overbooking problem, they will not be able to fit us in today. Oh, what? 
you heard Mrs. K. Or, would you prefer, I tell your class the real reason, and that the teacher is a bare-faced liar. You know very well, Mrs. K, that since the last time that you took class to Open Towers, you and any students in your care aren't allowed back there, which is presumably why they don't have a booking under this school, but they do have a booking under the Mrs. K Academy for Gifted Children. <laughs> now we know she would bars in the first place. But you were, Mrs. K, you were. Sir, sir, you supposed to be early out today. I am not going back to school. Did I say anything about going back to school? You were promised a day out and you shall have a very good day out. I bet it's black. <gasps> A frantic last minute phone calls and some speedy reorganisation. But I am pleased to announce that the Progress Class will be going on what I believe will be a stimulating, educational, and the most amazing trip to Wales! <laughs> Wales! I am going back to school! Sit down! It's crap, Wales! It's crap, Wales! <laughs> and it's dead old fashioned! And there's nothing to do. No, nothing to do in Wales. Wales is briming with things to do. One of the places we will be going to is the remarkable Conway Castle. And when do you see the eight, yes, eight Norman Towers? You'll see that no one of the acts. and chocolate on a school trip! <laughs> Excuse me, can I have a word with you in private? <laughs> oh. Now, I know this is a disappointment to everyone, but disappointments can be overcome and we are going to overcome this disappointment. How come, Lord, Miss? Well, just give me a moment. And what you've got to start understanding, mates, is kids like these have the ever see a sweet or a bar of chocolate. They're nothing but little waifs and strays wandering the cold crew half the streets. <coughs> All right, so Wales is an Alton Towers, and there's no point pretending that it is, but. <coughs> There's loads of good things to do in Wales. Like what? Like Shauna. Like, like beaches. Oh, and the sand. And the sea that stretches for miles. The sea that touches America. Yes, yes, we'll be able to go on the beaches. Of course we will, Rosie. Can we have some sweets? Yes, right, on.
of who they are, but it does not mean to say they hate the bleeding English. Where did you lot get your ideas from? Say. What? Say. Before you got on the coach. Sir, I need a toilet Is it any wonder the amount of sweets and drinks you have been pouring down yourself? No, sir. I thought I got a very big ladder. Say he has, he's almost in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, I really need the toilet. Say, I'm not here. Having to work with her. Look, 
I don't have to work with her, I choose to work with Mrs. K. And for one thing, she likes the... Who? The kids. She likes the kids. And Sarah! Sarah, where have you been? Sarah, we have been walking everywhere from We thought that you had to hide So did I for a minute. Sarah, don't say that I would be distraught. So I said, are you going to sit by us? Sure, I'll say it. Go on, say it, go on, say it, go on. Please say it. We'll see, we'll see. Say it. Me? Me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? Right, that's it. Enough times here. Everybody back on the coach. Come on now. You can watch me, hey? Hurry up.
positive. A zoo, a waste of time. A zoo is a place of learning. Oh, that's right. You're something of a natural history expert. Well, I, I wouldn't say expert, but... A bit of a David Attenborough in your spare time. Well, uh, you, you know... You are fond of the animals. Yes! Driver, pull into the zoo. <laughs> Saying they're all being very good apart from one 
I'm just going to the cafe. Do you want to join me? No, I should really stay with the kids. Oh, come on, they'll be all right. Will you be okay on your own? Yeah. yeah. I'm trusting you. Now, where is Barbara? She 
the minute you are treated like real people. And then this goes and happens. Trust! You lot don't know the meaning of the word. When we get back on the road and to Conway, miss, we will split into four groups. A member of staff with each group. If these kids want to act like animals, then they will be treated as animals.
with the group gone. Say they were bored, they kept dropping out while you were talking. <laughs> but it's all right, say we're dead interested. You can keep showing us around. We're fascinated, aren't we? Oh yeah, go on, say, go on, you keep on fascinating us. <laughs> say, let us soon, much around you. We could probably go and like, the chase or like, Love Island or something again. <laughs> well, that's very flattering of you, but... You went from a session out, say, but it's true, say, you just survive.
Well, in that case, I'm just going to have to work even harder teaching you how to read, aren't I? Miss, wouldn't it be smart if we had someone like this castle round our way? And the kids, they, get, they wouldn't get in trouble, would they? If they had someone like this to play, Miss, we could never have someone like this round our way. Why not? Because if we had someone like this, we'd just wreck it all, wouldn't we? No, we wouldn't. We would. That's why we never have not the nicest round our way. Because we'd smash it all up and make a mess of it. Do you know how to think about it, Miss? No, go on, Aaron. What? This? If all this belonged to us, like if it wasn't the council's, but really ours, we'll take care of it and defend it. Do you know what I mean, Miss? Yeah, Aaron. What you're saying is. Miss, we don't deserve to have nice things, do we? Why not? Look. Because, Miss, by us, the bus shelters always get smashed up, don't they? And you go down the chippy or the Aldi, there's always glass everywhere. And you go down the paper shop, it's always dark, even in summer, because the shutters are always down. Even if people try and put nice things. Get down, get the sticks to the mark pathways! This is ridiculous!
Sarah makes the bridge. Y'all not coming with us, by the way. You gotta start walking. <laughs> Come on, Paige, we got to see you. Oh, just leave. 
I was just about sick of him. Then go over there and have a talk with him then. I've tried that, but when I try to, I can't get through to our friend Ryan. I wonder if I could. What's wrong, miss? What you frightened of? You go back with the others. What are you going to do? Go on. It's Miss Sorting. Sit. And he's sorting out, doesn't he, sir? It's all right, you know, when you get him on his own, it makes his mates he's lovely. Oh, and aren't you and all that? I just do! Well, Ryan, here I am. Lost her. No, I've not lost her. She's just wandered off. 
Well, what's that if it's not losing her? I am surprised that you haven't lost more children in your time of teaching. It's any wonder that you're still in the job. Listen, Drake. It's about time for you to a pratty good thing. Now you listen here, Steve. You haven't even earned the respect to stop calling me. You are exactly like her. And when we get back to school, your number is in as well as hers. And you! I saw what was going on between you and Riley. That's the real business! For goodness sake! When we get back to school, I will introduce a report of every single thing that has gone on today. And you all will be out of the job! Do you mind just postponing your threats there, Mr. Briggs? We need to find Amy Chandler because that is the most important thing. You mean, try and find her. Good luck. Mark, Katie, you keep the rest of them playing football. We'll put up and look for them.
serious. And I am not going to let another slip of you get it the best of me. Now come here now! I'm going to give you five seconds. One, two, three. I am warning you, Miss Chandler. Four. I told you, I'm not coming with you. I will jump, you know, I will. Get here now. Just leave me alone. I want to stay here, but it's nice. You can't stay here. You, you don't belong here. I don't know why you're wasting your breath, because you don't care, do you? Don't care. If I didn't care, I wouldn't be trying to get you away from the cliffs and back down to the beach. That's not caring about me. If I fell off these cliffs, or all of them, well, you'd be in big trouble when we got back to school. That's why you're being crazy, so stop going on. You hate me. Hey, just because I'm a teacher, it doesn't mean to say that I... Don't lie, you. I know you hate me. I've seen you going home in the car. On the streets. I'm going to hate you. Hate you, man. I don't hate anyone. Why can't I just stay here and everyone's in nice white houses and do the garden and that? Amy, the way you speak, it's almost like you've given up on life. Who, who's to say that you can't work hard at school, get a good job, and move out here when you're older? Are you big? It's been a brilliant day today. I love it. We would have to, you know, just a child. I know. I'm not going back there. Right, just come here. Come here. So you know if you've been my old fella. I would have been all right, wouldn't I? Amy, please, just take my hand. Here, you don't have to look funny, you know. Why? They use your smile more often. You look like a nice person when you smile. <laughs> come here. Nothing, I promise. Say, you're promising now. What about when you get back to school? I give you my word. If you just get away from these cliffs, nothing more will be said. Say, I'm frightened. I'm going to fall. Amy! Amy! Amy!
and he's up in the staff room. What for? Oh, I'm not going to let you forget the day you enjoyed yourself. Be good for the rest of the staff to see as well when I can get them developed or whatever it is you do with photographs these days. Oh, it's simple. You just put them on the computer, you press the print, and then you just print them off. Oh, come on. Computers and me! If you'd like, I could do it. Would you? Yes, it's pretty simple. Thanks. Right. Come on, everybody. Nearly home. Come on, everybody up. Get your things.
Tudor are acting out the progress of class here. I think we've got some more. Well done, absolutely. It now gives me the pleasure of saying a few thank yous, but just before I do, it's been a, a really, really good day for our school community, and our sports day down at um, Robin Park today, and everybody's participated in at least two events, and hundreds of gold, silver, and bronze medals that have been given out, and it's been a really inclusive event, just as our productions are. Over the years, Mr Walters involves hundreds of children over the years, it's not a small group of elite performers, and it's about getting as many children as possible involved, getting on stage, having an absolute ball, and enjoying themselves. And I think we've really, really done that. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed that tonight. Um, it's really funny, you know, the sheep. Um, last Thursday, this sheep, in fact, this is Tuesday, brought it into school. She parked her car, it was outside the office, and I heard this bar. What on earth is this? And she brought it into school, and Mrs. Ridley was out on a, a second events conference down in Cheshire. She came back later in the afternoon because we had our year 7 to 10 award team, and she found that she was going to walk in school. Anyway, she wasn't that impressed at first, but Mr. Walters worked his charm. <laughs> So no, I agree. But without further ado, a few thank yous. First of all, our sound and lighting team, Mr. Peter Clarkson, Liam, Sam and Jack. Can you give them a round of applause? Second to our band, uh, organised by Miss Bryant, so we've got Miss Bryant, Corey, thanks for putting back for you as ever, uh, Niffy, Maxwell, Olivia, and again, Daniel, thanks for coming back. Big round of applause. <laughs> and for our team responsible for production and choreography, we've got Mr. Walsh and his team, uh, Miss Dandy and Miss Bowman. Thank you so much. Yourselves, the audience, the mums and dads, grandparents, aunties and uncles, other family members, and friends, and, and thank you for your continued support. And come out for me, there's only been one show in town this week, it's not been England, it's been our, our day outcast. No, so thank you for your continued support with that one. And finally, to our cast, you know, my office is just back, so I've been here in the for weeks, not months, but for weeks, and it's not this. this Polished thing that some schools take months and months and months. But in such a short period of time, we worked so hard staying behind for hours and hours and hours after school. And a real professional performance. It's the first one that I've seen. I've deliberately not been sneaking in and having a look at your, your rehearsal. I thought I'd save for the last time and make it special. And I've had an absolute great evening So thank you to all of us. <laughs> But uh, I asked the cast to uh, bring some money in, so the cast get them gifts as well. And so uh, we'd just like to say our thank you as well. So the first one is going to be Pete, uh, Pete of the Tech. Woo! Uh, and we've got um, Miss Ryan and Corey. When she did it, she was playing the role that Tegan played and Charlie played. We've got uh, Miss Donovan. <laughs> and just like this, it is very uh, trendy sports work. Uh, we're going to say lots of thank you and we're going to get him to come on uh, to Mr. Walters. Magic backstage, we've got uh, Miss Dandy as well. Uh, she's about. Yeah, this is 
So, the past, our alleged roommate, not at time, at 10 o'clock. So, if you've had a close minute in Old Town, should you wish?